We're at Lesson 12D, Solving Percent Word Problems, and we're going to be using mental math. If you missed 12A, B, and C, they're linked in this description with other helpful videos. Okay? Mental math can make calculations easier and faster. When dealing with percents, it's easier to think in terms of 10%. 10% equals 0 0.10 or 10 hundredths. It's 0.1 or 1 tenth. It's all the same thing. They're equivalent. We don't need that zero there to the right of this last decimal value, do we? We can just put it there if we want to, right? We can put as many zeros there as we want to. To multiply by 0.1, we move the decimal point one hop to the left. So 10% of $25, we move that decimal place one hop to the left. It's $2.50. We could do that quickly in our head. If we double the 10% to 20%, we can double the $2.50 to $5. Now we quickly found 20% of $25. And we can use this to find 5% by dividing the $2.50 in half. If that's 10%, well, 5 is half a 10, so 5% is half a 10%. 5% of $25 is $1.25. We just cut that in half. See? So we can go either way. We can double it to find 20% or cut the 10% in half to find 5%, okay? And this method can help us quickly determine a tip for waitstaff. If the check total is $32, we just move that decimal point in between the 3 and the 2, and it's $3.20 for 10%. If we want to leave a 15% tip, we cut that $3.20 in half to be $1.60, we add the 10% $3.20 and the 5% $1.60 and we get a $4.80 tip. If a check total is $43.80, 10% would be $4.38. 5% would be half of that. It would be that divided by 2, which is $2.19. And our 15% would be $6.57. If the check total was $26.79, 10%, we would round it to $2.68. Because if we move this decimal point over, we're going to have 2.679. And that 9 is going to round the 7 to an 8. So we'll just do $2.68. See? Another 10% would be another $2.68. So if we want to leave a 20% tip, it would be $5.36. Okay? And take a look at this bill from a restaurant. It says, two roast beef sandwiches, $12, two cups of coffee, $2.60, two slices of pie, $6, and it came out to $30.60. Now, if we leave a 15% tip, what will this total be? So we need to leave a 15% tip and then total it. So we do the decimal move. From $30.60, we get $3.06 for 10%. Then we cut this in half. We divide the $3.06 by 2, and we get $1.53. Now we add that 5%, $1.53, to the 10% and get $4.59. So the tip is going to be $4.59. See? Now we need to total it to find out how much we're paying. We add the $30.60 to the $4.59 and come up with a $35.19 total. Most people would round this. They would round it so that it would come out to even amounts. So if that's 60 cents, they would make that 40 cents, see? Or they might just give a tip of $5 to be generous, okay? But if you want to be exact with 15%, the total would be $35.19. See? You can put a dollar sign there. All right? So that would be exact. Okay? Let's look at this one. Tala will get a 30% sales commission on a $12,000 sale. How much will she get? Well, we've got $12,000. We have a decimal point here and then the cents. So we move the decimal point one hop. So 10% is going to be 1200 but she's getting a 30% commission. So we need to multiply it by 3. 10% times 3 would be 30%. So this 
1,200 times three would be $3,600 as her 30% commission, okay? Now from her $3,600 commission, she has to pay 25% income tax. So how much will she make after the income tax is deducted? Well, we could do that mentally too with the tens and the fives. 25% is a 10, a 10, and a 5, isn't it? So we could do 10% of 3,600 is $360. We could do another $360 as the other 10%. Now it's 20. And then we can cut that in half to $180. And we can add all of these up. And it's $900 of income tax. We just take that away from her commission. And she knows she's going to take home $2,700. Okay. Now, the U.S. tax system isn't really this simple. It's actually based on seven tiers of different percentages. So it wouldn't be a straight 25%. That's not how it works. I'll actually have a link in this description for a cool website where you can look at all the different tax brackets. Okay? So now you should be ready to do that skill focus on page 143. And remember, a whole number has a decimal point to the right of the ones place. So if it's just a five, we can still do 10% of it by moving a decimal this way to in front of it. See? So 10% of five would be 0.5. See? Our next video is going to be lesson 13. We're going to be finding the base, and that's for percent problems. And if you need any extra help, there's going to be links. There'll also be 12C in here. I forgot to write it. But all the Lesson 12 videos will be linked in here with Algebra 1, 7th grade, and 6th grade videos to help you. Okay? So we're going to be moving on to Lesson 13. You have to really make sure you understand what, we're, what we've learned so far so that you don't keep pushing yourself to get ahead when you need to actually catch up. Okay? So don't forget to hit the like button or share the video if it's been helpful. And I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.